Design Center, and we have a tropical fish tank that has Dory, Nemo, and friends. So we're here with Rob, our aquarist, to learn a little bit more about these species. So Rob, what are the species that are in this tank? The tank that we have here, we have uh, some clownfish um, in this tank. We also have two different types of tangs. Uh, we have a blue tang and a yellow tang. So where do these fish live naturally? Naturally, these are found in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Why are they grouped together like this in the tank? Uh, they're grouped together in this particular tank uh, just because everyone gets along very well and they all kind of eat the same type of food. Uh, what do they eat? They eat, uh, the clownfish tend to eat a little bit more uh, like shrimp and pieces of fish. The, the two different types of tangs, they actually eat um, a lot more algae and plant material, but they also eat shrimp too. And what eats them naturally in the wild? Uh, in the wild, naturally, it's usually just bigger fish. Um, so like uh, trigger fish, uh, different other species that are, you know, kind of larger. Um, and are they brightly colored for a reason? They're brightly colored for, uh, mostly for camouflage and for uh, hiding from predators. Um, particularly because of all the brightly colored coral that's in this tank and like what's in the wild, um, they can blend in very well with their habitat. So is that how they primarily hide from predators, is their coloration? Yeah, their coloration um, with the coral, they can hide very well, and also um, within the coral and the live rock, there's a lot of little caves and holes that they get in and hide also. Are these schooling fish, and do they need to be with a lot of the same species? These particular fish are not uh, schooling fish. Uh, they do hang out um, a lot together because a lot of times they do, you know, they do get along. So they, they are together, but they aren't schooling fish where they migrate from one area to another. The clownfish tend to. They're more, a little bit more social, so they um, tend to be a little bit more with um, their own like species. The tangs are kind of, they're more loners, so they don't really group or you know, be together if they're not schooling. Are they friendly towards other fish species? These ones are pretty friendly towards other species, um, and they all get along in this tank, but other species, um, different types of puffers or trigger fish, we can't put in here because they would be aggressive towards these fish. How big can they get? These species get, uh, the clownfish get to about uh, five inches, the yellow tang gets to about um, uh, six inches, and the blue tang, which is the largest one, uh, that gets to about a foot, 12 inches. Awesome, thanks so much. You're welcome.